Hi everyone, it's Rita at Shine Your Inner Light. Welcome to my channel. Um, this bowl is a is sound bowl that you're hearing is the ohm sound. And uh, I picked it up uh, on my first trip to Florida with my mom. Kind of a long story, but I just posted a video about a trip that last trip that we did to Florida. Uh, in 2012, I had uh, this recognition that I could leave my career and I could move overseas. And I was very connected to the people that I met uh, while I was visiting South Africa in 2011. They felt like soul family to me. And, um, and I had never uh, had that experience in totality the way that I did there. So I just decided to explore moving there. And I was able to get a three-year visa a uh, retirement visa and I and I went I left my career and I rented my house out um, and it was amazing and I came back for what I thought would be a short visit I put my stuff in storage I had a SUV there I had things <laughs> I put those things in storage and I came home and I'm in meditation and I hear that my mom's gonna pass when I leave my grandmother comes to me in this meditation so I decide that I can't leave and um, and I tell some of my friends back in South Africa and they understand right um, and I just had an amazing few years um, exploring I did a lot of travel with my mom um, I traveled on my own I learned about like the Akashic Records and you know uh, got got more into energy healing and medicinal tonics and raw the power of raw food and you know, all this stuff, you know, like I'm actually 120 years old. <laughs> no, just kidding. But um, uh, I believe in a lot of these things that we're drawn to that bring up our vibration and help us to feel good, whatever those things are, because it's your innate uh, knowing, you know, and those are the things you should move towards. Um, and, and uh, it's how, you know, and that's how I feel about that. And that's what I was able to allow myself to do. We're not always in a position where we're open to supporting ourselves that way. But I cheer people on that, uh, you know, find their passions or want to move somewhere or explore something or, you know, the world is getting smaller and smaller. So I've opened up the Akash, which is an energy field. Um, I have a high channel. I can actually connect in with people who have passed and uh, things like that. Um, so... And the Akashic Records, if you're drawn to them, uh, Linda Howe created a beautiful prayer, channeled a beautiful prayer called the Pathway Prayer Process to take, and it take, helps me go, it feels like anyway, because I feel a vibrational shift in my body when I read it, takes me into a deeper place with something. And I wanted to explore this energy around miracles because um, my mom was declining, you know, obviously, and... Um, uh, and I didn't like the cold weather in the DC area. So I decided the winters were getting really long. And I was like, you know, I never want to spend, I put out to the universe, I never want to spend another winter uh, in the DC area. And I ended up, I didn't. Um, I, uh, we went to Florida, um, right? You know, um, the sequence of events, we went to Florida twice and the last uh, visit that we did to Florida, she had uh, gotten off of oxygen. So that's all kind of a long story. But through those three years, um, eventually she had become dependent on oxygen, like more and more oxygen was needed, um, which for those of you that are dependent on that, it's horrible, right? I mean, our breath is everything. Um, and it's such a it's a, it's, it's our life force, right? So for people that are need oxygen, um, it's very disempowering, you know, and it's, um, so she was able to start, she found a book that had been, that she bought, um, and this company's no longer doing this, which is really sad because I tried to find them. Um, but she found a book where this person had created or this group had created, um, a connection with her, with her angels, you know, who her guardian angel was, who healing angels were, and then these prayers to connect that way, to open herself up, to say, you know, and to get, you know, and as she's actually started feeling better, where she started going without oxygen for a period of time, that was all very empowering, right? So I'm in this space of miracles because it felt like a miracle. So I want to ask about some of this. So it just gives you the background of the context. 
Um, and I've started writing about my, my journey, um, uh, as a teenager. And that's, it's all, that's a long story. And a lot of this will be in the book that comes out, but I just really want to hear what, um, what I'm told when I ask about this energy of miracles. So like, what are you about? We are about the completed state. So what does that mean? You are complete in your totality. You are complete in what is beyond your visibility. So what does that do? It, so I'm hearing like it connects you in, it connects you in with your complete, completeness. That's what a miracle is. So when we're in our completeness, we, we see that as a miracle. Because you've been programmed to believe that miracles are kind of few and far between. But every day could be your own miracle. They're saying, just like I use light, they're telling me what stuff I do. So they, they're saying, just like I use light um, to go into my cells and visualize my cells lighting up and moving like with a beautiful piece of music through my body. So it's like one of the things I, uh, I'll often do in the morning. Um, I have a guided meditation that I actually shared with a bunch of people this morning um, that Rebecca Dawson channeled when we were um, at the Biltmore for a retreat in 2018, I think. Um, yeah, okay. Um, and so it's a cell meditation where you go into your body and into a cell because uh, your cells have so much information, um, so much energy, so much a part of our life force, a lot of our cells have, like, there's this programming of our cells to limit us. And that's shifting. And we're seeing that. Um, and it's the missing piece that the scientists right now don't get. Because most of them don't think about the energy pieces um, and the totality or the completeness of us when they look at cells. Which is part of the problems that they're having. Um... um And there's a uniqueness with all that based on the vibrational level of each of us because we're accessing and moving with ourselves differently. It's part of the individuality um, and the freedom of existence in this earth plane. So I'm, I just want to get back to miracles because I think we go down a whole other, <laughs> a whole other space with those questions about um, us and our totality with cells. You are all beautiful, amazing creations that you are a part of creating. The creator energy is the substance of you, of us. I'm just, I'm just telling you what I'm hearing. And when you can get into a space of understanding your creative potential, however that happens, if it's by knowing your connection to your angels and your guides and the masters and stuff that you walk with um, and asking them for the things that you need or want to experience and being in that receptive mode, that energy mode with your body. In fact, I was just listening to the open series too, which Rebecca channeled, and they talk about this energy of the body. Like we get out of the sequence. We think our, our mind sees something and then we feel it 
and then we have it in our body. And so that's the way we've interpreted the world around us for a long time. And the juice, the power is in experiencing everything through the body first. And then what does that feel like? And then you can bring the mind in. However you want to describe the mind. Um, yeah, so everything around you is kind of like what we might call a miracle because we're just creating it based on our observation. Um, and we're having the experience of different things. I'm just looking around my room and <laughs> the things you you can't see that around here. I'm like, how does this stool, like how does how I feel about this stool right now? Um, but uh, you know, that, that experience with creation that way is a miracle in itself. Um, the way we see miracles, like they could be things that we experience every moment of every day. Um, if we didn't have a resistance to their limitation. And they're saying it's the same thing the way I've had some family members going through some things that um, have felt uncomfortable to me. And uh, um, I had to really get into a space not to be denying them in order to try to create a new vision um, for them. Because as the vision that I hold for them is really powerful, like, any vision we hold for anyone that is connected to us um, is uh, our creation and our, that's part of our, our innate creator ability and power. So um, they're reminding me of that. So we can actually help others in a way create miracles for them. Um, the way we decide to uh, feel about them and energetically see them. They say it's why it's important not to talk about things that are, um, you know, that don't feel good or things that, um, you know, are painful with other people because sometimes that energy just kind of continues to expand. Um, and it's not the, it's, and, and in essence, when you talk about some of those things, it's you're coming from a place of actually not wanting to create any more of that but you end up doing that, right? So they're telling me just to be really simple about this. Um, just to know, they want you to know, like the that energy of miracles wants you to know that it's totality, it's your completeness, um, and that you can experience that as long as, you step into that space of really feeling that. And that's as simple, they're saying that that's as simple as they can make it. Um, that it's not out of your, it's not out of your reach because you're a creator being. And they're saying we could actually live so much longer, um, but we don't trust our innate knowings and our innate self, our completeness. And that we also have this sense that life ends and life doesn't end. Life never ceases. Our, we're energy and we're actually working on a documentary that uh, has been delayed because of COVID travel for my co-creator uh, who's in India. And, um, and so, and that's okay, you know, because everything has like in divine timing um, and I'm exploring other things now. Um, because it's been delayed, which is all fine, you know, so. So they want me to mention that, you know, my first clear audience channeling was in a primitive Baptist church where I was feeling very unwelcomed as a woman uh, and as a woman who was realizing she was gay and uh, as a teenager, and it wasn't something I could vocalize I mean, being a woman was obvious for all the women there, but, um, and so my first uh, clairaudient channeling was hearing God talk to me. Um, and uh, what was shared with me um, 
kept me from taking my own life. Because when you don't feel like you belong, especially as a kid, and that something's wrong with you, um, it's uh, and you can't talk to anyone about it, it's very painful. And it's why even adults leave this planet with suicide. And I'm not saying there's anything like, I mean, that's all a very painful place to get to and be. And life doesn't cease. But, you know, the knowing of our completeness, the knowing of our wholeness, the knowing that God works through us and is part of our cells and the creation state that we are is for a kid and to know what that love is and to sense that that love is there is incredibly powerful. Um, so that's, what's, that's what the writings will be about, um, I think, because a lot of it's also channeled. I've channeled a small short story by Jesus and Mary uh, that incorporated uh, experiences that I had um, with uh, energy healing and uh, medicinal like um, reishi and chaga these are medicinal herbs and grief and unconditional love and things like that so it's like a short story it's called Elijah's alchemy uh, and about intuition and knowings because we all have them and we're all opening up to more of them if we're if we're not uh, already in that uh, space so yeah, so the energy of miracles just wants you to know that, that every day there can be miracles in your life and it's understanding your completeness and your wholeness. And with that, I've left, I've, I don't like to leave totally long videos, but I'm sending you blessings and love. Uh, you know, see the people in your lives, your family members, your, your brothers, your sisters, your parents, your cousins, see them all with this beautiful loving light and your friends and the people that you meet and to see them in their completeness and their wholeness. And that'll be the best gift uh, that, uh, you know, that you can give your family and your partners and ex-partners and all these loving beings that you've had amazing experiences with. See them in their wholeness. Um, see your all your friends that way. Um, and again, it'll be the best gift that you can give them. And in the uh, uh, opening of miracles, know that you are complete and you are whole. And feel that energy and feel the energy of completeness and wholeness and find good thoughts and lean into joy and light up all your, all your cells. Uh, see all your cells vibrating at a high level and kind of moving beyond your body and ask all your cells to like, move out any programming, any programming, any conditioning, maybe you got as a kid, any, any areas and invite back your energies and your power in the morning, like anywhere it's ever been taken away from you, anywhere where you've given your power away, past, present, future, call it all back to you. Uh, it's an amazing experience to call back in your energy, to get out of bed excited in the morning. Um, and it doesn't mean it'll happen every day, but there's a lot that we can do that's a part of that uh, uh, co-creating with uh, the universe and the divine. Blessings and love to you. Take care.